So for the PSM Plus Unity hack, you'll need Outlook or Thunderbird. And you also need QMCA for transferring the files under 3.5, I mean for any firmware um, under 3.52. You can get it at wulu.net. Right there. Um, you also need to install files, which I'll put in the description below. So let me move that. And um, once the download's done, you open it and extract it to wherever you want. I personally put it on my desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you simply open it. And you're going to be transferring the Unity file within the PSA data file to your actual, your actual PSA file, which is usually located in your computer, user, and your name, and then a PS Vita, I'll show you in the video. So yeah, you'll copy the folder here. I already have the folder, so I don't have to copy it, but you'll copy it. And once you copy it, you'll open the test, the test two. And I'm using Thunderbolt. You'll you'll forward it to your email that you already have. So I forward it to myself. I already forwarded it to myself. And once you've done that, you just click send. Wait, and then the rest has to be done in your PS Vita. So, a uh, low sized app. But before that, you're going to want to transfer over the save file from the computer. So, go into your CMA. And uh, PC to PS Vita application, and it should be in your PSP saves. There it is. Click it and copy it over to your PS Vita. Now I'm not gonna copy it over because I already have it. But just click OK. Blah blah blah. You know, you should know the drill. Once you're done, you can just close it. Okay, so now you need a small sized app from the PSN store. I'm personally going to use Colors Demo. It's free, it's small, 11 MB. But you can choose whatever you want, really. But I recommend something small, like 27 MB, 30 MB, blah, 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 blah. Um, once you have this, you're going to download it. Wait, wait for the download. Now, you're going to download around halfway, a quarter, and then you're going to pause it. A second, it's taking some time to do it. Um, all right, so once it's downloaded, well, once it's downloading, you go there, wait a little bit, wait till it's like half quarter way. Wait, uh, my beat is being weird, but yeah, wait till it's like half quarter way, like that. I'm gonna just pause it instant. Now, once paused, you're gonna want to go to your email app. And you're going to want to try to find the email that you sent to yourself, or you say that it's a draft, or whatever you did. Find where the two files, you'll see two files inside of it. So this is where mine is. I'll click it. And there's two files inside of it. So you're going to click the first one first. And then you're just going to exit that. Do not click OK. Do not click OK. You're going to exit that. You know, home button, exit the app. Then you're gonna go in again and click the second one.
and then close it again. And once you do that, you're going to want to turn off the Wi-Fi. I didn't do it in this one, but you're going to turn off the Wi-Fi and then power, power off your Vita and turn it back on. Okay, now that it's done now, you can go up and put up your home screen. And go to, and go to your live screen should be updated by now. And go to your... Sorry, my, my stutter is getting up, but yeah, if you just click your corner button and click the on the the arrow button, the arrow button, it should be fine. Blah blah blah. I apologize for my stutter if you can understand me half the time, but there you go. You have your PSN dev for Unity.